Hey. Who are you? What do you want? I'm not going back. I won't. Tell them I won't. Easy, easy. I'm not here to cause trouble. That's what you expect me to believe. But as soon as my back's turned, you will drag me there, bury me again. Bury me with them. Who is them? Them. The ancients. They're everywhere. Just listen. The screams, the whispering. Oh, I wish I couldn't hear it. I wish they weren't speaking to me. What whispering? What are you talking about? It's those temples. Rising from the ground, the voices came from them. Who is it whispering? The ancients. All the things they find, the temples, they're from the ancients. And those idiots want me to dig them up, to desecrate their graves. The ancients have been disturbed. What do you think is causing these storms? And who knows how to fight them? Who knows what can stop them? Aha. Uh -huh. You said you don't want to go back. Back to where? Hawkins didn't send you. He wants me to go back digging there. But how can I go back? They will take me again. Take a few deep breaths. Relax, okay? Can't you see? It's all around us. The panic, people dying, the creatures. Can't you see that? They will rise from their graves to avenge themselves on the living. The ruins that have risen from the ground, who do you think made that happen? And they are but a herald. Soon, they will show themselves. Then we will all be doomed. Something is happening. But I've seen no evidence of spirits. Well, Hawkins does want you back at work. Oh, I knew it. But I won't go. You can forget it. I find gold coins are a good cure for fear. Gold? What use is gold if they get to you? No one knows how to stop the Ancients. Find someone else for the job. Send Dwight. He doesn't hear them. He doesn't believe. But you'd better know. The spirits will come for you. And there is no protection. I have something that will protect you from the Ancients. There is no protection. That's not what the mages say. They've been searching for objects like this amulet for a way to protect us all. That's just a cheap necklace. Have a closer look. How can this protect me? This is what people have been searching the ruins for. Answers. For protection. And they found something? Yes. Objects with the power of the ancients. Objects like this amulet will protect you. The mages guarantee you'll remain 100% spirit free. But we need to find more of these. More artifacts so everyone can be safe. Yes, yes, of course. That's why it's important for you to have this. If we're to protect everyone, we need you to look for things at the excavation site. Of course, of course. I'll do it. I'll help protect everyone. Job done. You needn't worry about those things in the excavation site anymore. You killed them? Right. 30 gold coins, wasn't it? Worth every one. Thanks. Pleasure talking to you. Right. I'll look forward to our next conversation.
I've got nothing more to say to you. Who could teach me to pick locks? There's something here about magic. I'm blind, thieving bastard! <laughs> Careful what you touch. Come on, let's go kill this rock worm. That's the spirit? Right. Ready your weapon and stay close to me. Yeah. Ah. 
Those beasts deserve no mercy. See, that's what being a hunter is all about. The thrill of the hunt, the buzz of the kill. Ah, oh, that's made my week, that has. I've killed that worm. You don't need to worry about it. One less worm is no bad thing. Here, have 30 gold for your trouble. Hey, if you're going to the camp, can you take this raw meat with you? They always need food there. Just give it to Rachel, the cook. I'm gonna stay here, see if I can spot my next challenge. I'm afraid none of the fighters will come to help you. Oh yeah, I thought so. For fighters, they aren't very keen on fighting. Thanks for trying though. What do you know about a sword? A golden one? Well, I've heard stuff. And I thought I may have found a piece of it back at the excavation site. Have you still got it? I was about to dig it out when those insects came. I wonder if it's still there. You can go back to work. The insects are gone. Are they really gone? Gone. Dead. Deceased. Okay. You seem like the honest type. I'd best be getting back to work then. About Brogar. I found out Brogar is collecting protection money here in the camp. That'll be his style. What a bloody evil thing to do. But it's good information. You might be able to use that at the right time, but be careful. Word has it that Brogar wants to replace the Don. That much is obvious. There isn't a man in the place who hasn't worked that out. But it's not something anyone says out loud. Words can get you killed. About your hunting. Lewis isn't going to stop drinking anytime soon. I know. But when he's sober, or even when he's half cut, he's a damn good hunter. Doug has been successful. He's given me some meat for the camp. We needed that. You better take it to Rachel if you haven't given it to her already. Both your hunters are back out doing their job. Are they? You work fast. Your team's not the best I've seen. You take what you find. They're what I found. As for your training, maybe I can help. Hawkins says you're meant to be protecting his workers. Hawkins says, does he? You promised Hawkins if he paid, you'd protect him. You worried about him. You protect him. Right. You're a real man of honor. You must be hungry, if you're happy to take food from strangers. We used to have a whole town. Now we just got a swamp. You gotta grab any meal you can get. Someone in your position ought to be more careful. Who knows what you're being fed. No one would dare mess with my grub. And if you're thinking about it, then also think about what your entrails look like. Cause you'll see them pretty fast if you mess with me. Why are you making Sam saw wood for you? What business is it of yours, little fish? You've had some firewood, 
Now let him get back to hunting. And if I don't get wood for my fire, I'll be pissed off. You're pissing into the wind if you wait for Rachel to organize anything. You want something here, you have to take it. Yeah, I'm beginning to understand that. Got any proper work for me? Are you actually good for something, little fish? Easy to be cocky with that weapon and fancy armor of yours. Nah, it's all the bodies I buried that make me cocky. Two of my boys are supposed to be guarding the eastern swamp farm. But Clay's been lazing around the campfire. Go and see him. Make sure he takes over from Phil before Phil rots up there. Simple. I'm not losing another man to this fucking swamp. Do you boys do anything other than stand about all day? They're guarding. What do you expect? When it comes to standing around all day, these guys are the best. Trained killers, though, the lot of them. And if those creatures from the temples march in here, you'll be damn glad of them. So, show a little respect. The fighters answer to you, right? Yeah. Most of them owe their lives to me. One way or another, they know not to mess with a big fish. So you know where they are at all times? Of course. Well, usually. One of them has gone missing. Dorgan was on an errand for me, down in the swamps. The Pillock's probably got himself lost. Or eaten. Or he's chasing wenches again, never could keep his mind on the task in hand. Clay's taken over from Phil on guard duty. Good. Pair of useless assholes. You seem to be a man who hears a thing or two. Have you heard anything about a broken sword blade? What good is a sword in pieces to anyone? Worthless junk! Only one who'd be interested in that is that blacksmith. And you, apparently. What's that about, then? Do you know where the pieces of the sword blade are? I know where one piece is. I've got it. Question is, what will you do to get it? I'll look for him. When I get my hands on him, he's going to be emptying piss pots for the next month. You mean protection money. Shush! Not so bloody loud! Who are you protecting? What do you care? Hey, Dwight. You need to start shifting those crates over to Beppo. And who are you to be telling me what to do? How about I pay you some gold, you work, and then you relax? If a man you want to work the day, a little gold will grease the way. Pleasure doing business with you. All right, let's get the gold from the temple ruin. Oh. So you are interested in the gold. Let's go. Follow me. Now, no one can see us here. So let's have ourselves a little chat. What about? I've met people like you. Troublemakers. Right. So we're not here for the temple. You're getting the picture. It's just you and me. And you're gonna give me your gold. Can we talk about this? I don't want to talk. I want you gone. Permanently. Every scummy weasel that turns up here costs me a share of my gold. 
If this is about gold, have it. Here. You think you can win me over like that? With gold? Well, you're right. Give it here. Now, consider our relationship over. I sorted out your crate delivery problem. Really? Well, thanks. Good to see someone's applying themselves. Tell you the truth, I ain't sure why the Don wants all this gold. Ain't like there's much to spend it on in a swamp. Not that I've seen. Anyway, you've put me in a generous mood. Here's a little advance on your share. The swamp farmer sent me with ten bottles of beer. Ah, oh, I wondered when that was going to arrive. Thank you, that saved me a walk. Robar wants fifty gold coins for the beer. That's pricey. Guess even Robar can't afford to be giving away things free at the moment. Here you go. Thanks for doing the legwork. About your camp. Here, ten haunches of meat, as requested. Thanks. These are pretty good cuts. Looks like you've got a skill for hunting. Here's your gold. Hunting doesn't pay that well, then. Take it or leave it. That's what you're getting, and it's enough to fill your stomach or get you drunk. Your choice. Your deliveries of artifact crates will be starting again. Thanks. I didn't want to worry Esteban about that. Not after everything that's happened. By the way... Lewis claims Brogar wants to replace the Dawn. Brogar's always been trouble, but since we've been in this swamp, Esteban's absence has really lowered morale. It gets tongues wagging and hands lazy. I wish he could see that. Talk to the men. This could be just the thing to get Esteban going again. Show him how bad things have got, but I'm going to need more proof than the word of a drunken hunter. Brogar is refusing to help the workers. They're being attacked by the creatures in the swamp. That sounds like him. Wouldn't want to risk his precious fighters to protect the workers. This is all grist to the mill. Keep an eye on him. There's bound to be more. More? It doesn't look like anyone is doing their job in this camp. Brogar is collecting protection money from the people here in the camp. What? Are you sure? Hmm. I'd be surprised if he were being that brazen about it on his own doorstep. Do you have proof? Solid proof. If you could get me something concrete, that would help things here a lot. Enrico is back working at the excavation site. How did he manage that? Let's say he took some persuading, but saw sense. Well, I suppose you need to have some gold for that. Brannon has returned to work. I saw. Good. Good work. I thought you'd be pleased. I am. Oh, uh, take this. You deserve payment. Thought you might like to know Dwight's gone back to work. He has? That's almost a miracle. But well done. Here, take these coins. Your gratitude is boundless. Right, they're all back at work. Things should get moving now. That is good work. That'll keep Beppo and his cronies off my back. Have you come across a piece of a sword blade? The one Oscar's trying to piece together. He wants to make a sword for the Don, I believe. And? And I might have a piece of it. Oscar tried to buy it from me, in fact. But he wasn't offering enough, so I thought I'd hang on to it. 
Will you sell me your piece of the sword? It'd have to be for, uh, ooh, no less than 100 gold. That's a deal. What, really? Fine. Well, here it is. Delivered your beer. Yeah? But did you get my gold? Yes, here it is. That's a sight. Now I can get Brogar off my back. Thank you. I won't forget this. Consider a favor owed. Going to spend your whole life hanging around.
About Brogar. Brogar's hold on the camp isn't as strong as he thinks it is. Maybe, but he's not stupid and he's certainly not weak. You defied him. Don't expect him to take his eye off you now. Be very, very careful, my friend. About your camp. The workers had downed tools, but I've got Brannon and Enrico to start work again. Good. One less worry? Here, take this. You'll need it. By the way, Dorgan, one of Brogar's people, had this list on him. Can I see it, please? Seems Dorgan was helping Brogar to pocket Esteban's gold. Where is he now? Dead. I found him in a cave near the swamp. This list will help. 
We'll need more evidence, though, of which persuade Esteban Drogar is working for his own interests. Don't just stand around. Be off with you. I found Dorgan. Yeah? Where is the lazy bastard? He's dead. His body's in a cave near the swamp. Oh, well, if he keeps some swamp creature fading off my back, it'll be the first useful thing he's done. Now, did he have anything on him? Anything at all? He had some gold on him. I'm not talking about gold. I'm talking about something else. Yes, I found a very interesting list in his pocket. Did you now? And where is it? What's the worry? This protection racket of yours is all approved, isn't it? You don't want to play games with me. Just give me that list. All right. Here's the list, Dorganet. You're smart. Mm -hmm. Were you smart enough not to tell anyone else about this list? I didn't tell anyone. And it'll stay that way if you know what's good for you. Anything else for me to do? Well, maybe one thing, if you're up to it. Out with it. Right. But keep this to yourself. You're hearing me. Have you ever collected funds generously donated by those grateful for their security? Hmm. Generously donated security funds. You want me to do this job or not? Hmm. Maybe you can succeed where that damn dog failed. We're all the folks in this camp who ain't fighters. Go and tell them their monthly payment is due. Collect it. Then bring the gold back to me. Simple. I'll take the job. But can I trust you? Could be you're a shifty little fish. I'll do it. Don't worry. Yeah, I want it done, and I want it done right. So about that little job I'm doing for you. What if I run into problems? It's your job, so it's your problem. I'm owed 200 gold. I don't care how you get it. Squeeze it out of them or find it another way. But don't come back with any less. Right. Should I collect money from Sam? No, Sam works for me. Good man. Knows the value of being discreet about his work. Got it. Who exactly am I meant to be collecting from? You've got a hole in your head. Anyone who isn't one of my boys. Oscar the Smith, the workers, Hawkins, Enrico, Brannan and Dwight, the hunters, Doug and Lewis, and that swamp farmer, Robar, and his farmhand, Ogle. And hurry it up. By the way, Brogar has ordered me to collect protection money for him. What? Really? And who are you supposed to collect it from? All the men here who aren't one of his fighters. He's really gone too far this time. How long has he been getting money from them? No idea. All right, just play along. Collect the gold and find out who's not paying so willingly. Then we might be able to put a nail in Brogar's coffin. He's not taking over this camp. Not while I live. I certainly wouldn't want to see him with any real power. Do you owe Brogar some protection? For what? I don't need that great lummox to protect me. Brogar's collecting protection money. Mm. I have my suspicions. Some of the men go through their gold almost as quickly as I pay them. Tell Rachel. Brogar needs sorting out. Nothing but trouble. I'm sure he'll get what's coming to him. Well, if there's any justice, he will. But justice ain't too common around here anymore. Brogar wants his protection money. Here, take it, and leave me in peace.
Give me your protection money. All right. I really don't want any nastiness. I'm here to collect your protection money. What? Don't tell me you're one of Brogar's henchmen. Let's say, business partner in training. Hmm. Well, I'm sure you have your reasons. But if you want protection money, first, I need some protection. I've got bog bodies wandering all over my farm. They were over by the waterfall this morning, and I don't call letting bog bodies wander around protection. I'll take care of the bog bodies. Then we'll talk about the goal. Over by the waterfall. Good luck. I need some help clearing bog bodies from the swamp. Good luck finding it. Yeah. You see, I was thinking you could help me. See? Now you're almost sounding perceptive. So how about you get moving? I knew you were going to be trouble. Follow me.
It's gonna take me a week to get the stink off my sword. You said you were bored standing guard duty. Yeah, right. Thanks. You can relax. I dealt with those bog bodies. Now that is a relief. I knew you weren't all bad. Here, take this as a thank you. Thanks, but I am still going to need that protection money. Here, take it. I hope I can get some peace now. I'm looking for a protection spell. Then you're in luck. I have one, but a word to the wise. Once it's used, the scroll is worthless. Protection money is due. Hand it over. Yeah, here you are. <laughs> Don't need to get rough. Here, one beer for some information. Hey, 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 you got one. Uh, you're beautiful. Here, this bottle's on me. I thank you. You are a gentleman, sir. A poet, and you're definitely not an asshole. Thanks. Hmm. I don't have anything to ask at the moment. That's too bad. Brogar wants his money. Take my gold. Take everything, but leave me alone. I'm here to collect you know what, Brandon. Pay up. Brogar got you collecting now, has he? Okay, I'll pay. But I actually want protecting this time. Rogar sent me to collect the money you owe him. So, he's got you working for him. Thought you might have a bit more sense. Here, take it. Hope you choke on it. About Brogar. Brogar's demanding protection money from people and wants me to collect it. Hmm. You need Brogar on your side. But you don't want to end up like Dorgan. Dorgan? Dorgan was the last one to collect protection money for Brogar. Now he's disappeared. Dorgan is dead. I found him in a cave. Well, protection rackets aren't known for being safe things to get involved in. It looked like wild animals had killed him. Be careful. You don't want to end up like that. Thanks. That advice isn't exactly easy to follow.
I'll need your protection money for this month. We work, we feed you, we bring you wood, and you still screw us workers for gold. Craig has a piece of the sword blade the Don wants. So he says. But that bastard won't part with it cheap if he has got it. You knew he had a piece of the blade. <laughs> Nothing happens in this camp without someone mouthing about it. You didn't pay him, did you? Does that matter? Well, they say a fuckwit and his money as soon as parted. I'm here for Brogar's money. What? Running Brogar's errands is no way to make friends here. Now they've got you collecting gold. All right. Keep your money for now. We'll stay friends. You made the right choice there. Just don't expect us friends to be friendly. Don't just stand around. Be off with you. I'm here for Brogar's money. Now they've got you collecting gold. Whatever you say. Now give me the money. Here, and I hope the Geiger bites you in the ass. I don't feel like talking. So about that little job I'm doing for you. Don't just stand around. Be off with you. So about that little job I'm doing for you. There's no one left. To collect from. Right. So where's my 200 gold coins? Here's your 200 gold coins. Not bad, not bad. So you do have your uses. Guess you've earned your share. And if anyone asks, this never happened. Understood? By the way, I collected all the money for Brogar. Now what? If my husband learns about this, he'll have Brogar killed on the spot. Then he'll give me hell for not keeping an eye on things. Perhaps if you go to Brogar and tell him what you know, threaten to pass it on to Esteban, maybe he might buckle. That would help keep things calm here for a while at least. Well, I'll try talking to him. I'm thinking maybe I should tell the Don what I know, Brogar. About what? My protective, supportive funds? You think you'd believe a little fish like you over me? Are you really threatening me? Are you really that stupid? You haven't proven yourself to me, little fish. Giving me a headache. I don't feel like talking. 